All right, so I'm pretty open. I love to share with you all, but there's one part of my life that I am yet to share in any public fashion, and I wanna do it here first um, to the funeral profession. So uh, I love to sing and make music. Um, you know, I, I think it'd be awesome one day to open up an NFDA show, just me and my guitar. So I want to debut for the first time ever, me singing to the funeral profession and my boy Eli is going to uh, give me the beat. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Disrupt You, episode 71. We're back. We're in the flow. Thank you to everybody who's attended one of our live webinars over the last five months. Thank you to the over a thousand of you that attended and registered for the Funeral Unconference, the first ever. Like, look, being able to get thrusted into this pandemic and pivot and do what we need to do to build attention and to, and to give value. And that's really what I wanna talk about today is giving value. If you look historically at Disrupt, I give and give and give, whether it's white papers, free content, value through webinars and information, like we easily could charge a ton of money for the content that we give out on webinars but it's a perfect example of how to build relationship and how to build value and respect for your followers and, and the people that you are connecting with via social media. And it's no different in how you should engage your community. This is a real simple video. You gotta give more than you get. If, it, if it's 51, 49, that's fine. You gotta give more than you get and you can't just be in take mode. And I think a lot of times, Funeral homes on, on social just really want to take, right? Well, we're going to throw up a lot of obituaries because that's what we think everybody wants to engage with, which it absolutely is not. And then we're going to go, okay, our pre need company wants to post some, some sales content? No problem. Have access to our page and just start posting a sales message. Like that's going to magically get people to start going, you know what? I love this funeral home. And gosh, pre-planning, I've always wanted to do that. Doesn't work that way. You got to give more than you take. And it's gotta be giving in a way that creates value, but also educating that consumer on who you are and why they should use your funeral home. So think about this, here's some content that is giving more than you're getting, that allows you enough to build a relationship that you can then leverage that for a sales conversation where it's less awkward and higher returns for a lower dollar investment. Think about this. What if you did some community giveaways? What if you partnered with some businesses in the community? For example, we helped organize for a number of our clients during the pandemic gift card giveaways. They said, look, we wanna help support some local businesses. We're fortunate enough to be essential businesses where, and I guess you could take that as, as fortunate enough, where funeral homes couldn't shut down, right? You still had to do the daily in a far different way than you ever have before. But we had funeral homes said, I wanna, we wanna help and give back to some local businesses, what can we do? So we did gift card giveaways, where either we put together a gift basket with like $500 worth of gift cards to local restaurants in it, and the funeral home did a giveaway through their Facebook page, which would engage tens of thousands of people, or we had a couple clients that once a week, they gave a different $100 gift card away through a simple contest where, you know, take a picture of you, eating dinner or takeout from a local restaurant, post it to our Facebook page. We're gonna pick one person, 
and they're going to win a hundred dollar gift certificate to that restaurant so ways to give but get engagement and that's building value that's building attention that's building a following that's building engaged users that are going to continue to follow the page because you're doing things that are different and you're not just talking about death or funerally content other ways community involvement like what are you doing in your community we had so many clients that had employees that were volunteering for different charities whether it was taking meals to school kids whether it was delivering canned goods to shelters whether it was um, you know collecting coats and collecting hats and gloves during the winter time like what are what is your staff doing and what are you doing in the community to give back those are great things to highlight on your on your facebook page and other social media channels and then let's look at just video content that you can produce internally there are probably easily right now if i said give me the the five most asked questions by the families that you serve you could create five different one to two minute videos around the questions that your families ask on a recurring basis you can keep them on your website as an faq session section you can post them to facebook you can run them as facebook ads you can build awareness around them you can give more than you get the value is in the knowledge and the resources that you're giving your community because that's building the relationship. Think about the reasons that you follow brands personally on social media. Like what are they doing that your funeral home can implement that builds value and gives to the community so that when you do go with the ask, and Gary V, one of my favorite marketers said it best, jab, 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 right hook. You got to ask, ask, or you got to give, 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 give before the ask. And right now, a lot of funeral homes that are trying to go into social media because we've been thrusted into this environment where consumers are elevating the time spent on Facebook. Listen, engagement on funeral home Facebook pages has increased 13% since March 11th. Private messages to funeral homes Facebook pages has increased 26% since March 11th. The consumer is engaging with funeral homes more now than ever, and funeral homes are realizing like, oh my gosh, we have done nothing online and now we need to be there. And so they're immediately going in with this hardcore selling, sell message because they've heard me say that one of the byproducts of great social media marketing is the ability to be able to drive leads. And it is, but you gotta stage it right. You gotta give more than you get take you got to jab, 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 then right hook. So give, 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 then ask more receptive. So think about it as, as this way. You've got that friend. You consider them a good friend. You like to hang out with them. They're fun. They're popular. Good things happen when you're around them. But the only time they really want to hang out with you is when they need something. Don't be that funeral home. Don't be that friend. Until next time. Keep disrupting.